Hey pack leaders, I know you're very excited to get the auto tune going, but there's a few settings that we need to make sure that we have in Haas uh, for the desktop version when you're installing it. So let's go ahead and go to, to my Haas account and let me show you what settings needs to be done. So let's go ahead and scroll down over to the settings area. Uh, you want to make sure a few things are, are good to go here. Running bots on startup because uh, it does restart the tuner uh, quite a bit. And also when Haas restarts, you want to make sure everything's running. So these should be all on. Set the auto logout timeout to 9.99 and as many nights as you can put in there so that it never logs you out. Okay. Run and low power, yes, that should be turned on too. And then this, I try to put 99 in, but they don't allow me to do that. So it just kind of defaults to 24. And then uh, closing price space and also do nothing. This is important, back result option, do nothing. So when it does a back test, it doesn't put into the bot analyzer menu. It sticks to uh, to the current, um, I guess, view that you, you are on, okay? And once that's all done, load bot charts automatically, yes, hit save, okay? Next one, security, I think that's okay. Hosting wise, make sure your host address matches your VPN address, okay? And then for mine, I have a host port 8090 and then hub port 8092. Uh, yours might be different, this could be 88 also, but depending on what your host server is. And then local API, this is also important. It's the same as your local API and then the 8060 for my API port and then your local API key. Now keep your local API key simple, not too long because if it doesn't, if it's too long, it might not save. When you try to click save, you check back on it, it gets cleared out, check back on it again. Then you need to restart Haas to make sure that you see it on the console when it loads up, okay? Now, I don't think I have a console for you to look at right now, but you should be able to see this API address pop up with the 8060 on your Haas console when it loads up. That confirms that it has been loaded, otherwise you need to restart it again, okay? Notification wise, uh, I'll leave that up to you to set up. Uh, that, there's a Haas documentation in, in setting it up. That's just so I can monitor it, make sure that there's a pulse going on on my phone while, while I'm away. If I notice not some, something not posting or it's not trading for like a whole day, then something's gone wrong. I need to restart the server back up or something or it crashed. Keyword shortcuts, I usually turn it off because I'm not trading on him manually. Sometimes I'll press a button that I didn't intend and it'll, it'll take me somewhere I, I don't want it to go. And I think everything else looks pretty good. Beta testers, I put yes, use the latest version. And I think that is all, okay. So go ahead and save all that and that should be it for the settings and you should be good to go. Um, and then the next part, I'll show you how to create a simulated wallet and then how to load it up with lots of coins so that you never run out okay all right we'll see you in the next video